Uh, we are here with Georgia wide receiver and punt returner, kick returner extraordinaire, McCole Hardman. McCole, I know you're with family celebrating right now, but just how does it feel to be drafted into the NFL and be the newest member of the Kansas City Chiefs? Man, it feel good, man. I'm happy to be part of the team, and um, I'm just ready to get to work and, you know, show them what I can do and try to be the best player I can be. Hey, I know this has got to be a crazy time for you, but going through this pre-draft process, what kind of inclination did you get that the Chiefs may end up being the team that would select you? Well, I mean, I knew I already knew it was the interest there, you know, the you know the kind of offense they have and the kind of play style I have. So I knew the interest was there, um, but I didn't know they was gonna pull the trigger this fast. I, I mean, I was just ready, just waiting for the call, but I'm glad they called, and you know, and we just go from here. Hey, anybody who studied your game or knows anything about you, the first thing they're gonna bring up is the speed. The right. sub four three forty, you're blazing fast. Just besides that, what do you pride yourself on as a player outside of the speed that anybody can see? Just, just, just the way I compete. You know, I love to compete. I think I, um, I thrive on competition, and I think you'll see that on the field. Um, that I, I compete with anybody against me. I want to win at all times. At the obvious question with any receiver who's going to be joining the 23-year-old MVP quarterback is, what does it mean to you to sit back and think right now you're going to be catching passes from the best player in the NFL right now? Man, it's great, man. I, I, I can't wait. You know, just watching him play and um, just thinking about catching passes from him, um, I think it'll be great. I'm ready to get with him, man, get to work with him, get some chemistry down with him, and, you know, just, you know, hopefully we can have a great duo and be the next best duo in the league, you know? Yeah, we saw one of the guys that was drafted in the draft class last year and Khalil McKenzie, former defensive lineman turned offensive lineman, says that you guys are familiar with one another. Just what do you know about Khalil and how excited are you uh, to yeah, reunite we, with him? Yeah, we came on a, a recruiting process together. You know, Khalil went to Tennessee and um, I, I was close to going to Tennessee as well. He was one of the biggest recruiters to recruit me to go to Tennessee. So we had a, a good relationship and um, I'm happy to just be, you know, have somebody there I know and I'm, you know, happy to see him and, uh, you, know, you know, reconnect with him. All right, I'm looking at the numbers. Seven catches last year of at least 40 yards, excuse me, of at least 30 yards. Just can you describe your game for anybody who hasn't seen you play? Explosive, you know, uh, explosive and um, fast, you know, strong. Uh, I feel like, you know, I can, I can do a lot. I can take a short pass to, to the touchdown. I can, think, you know, I, can, I can bomb a guy, you know, I think I can do it all. And um, so, but definitely, you know, I thank God to see that, you know, they think of my game. All right, one of the things that I asked Coach Reed just a few minutes ago at the press conference was what he looks for in receivers, whether it's in the interview process or when he's watching the film. And the one thing he said with any receiver that comes into this system is they've got to be intelligent because he moves you guys around, whether you're inside, outside, he likes to move you around, find those mismatches. When you were going through that process, how much do you pride yourself on not just knowing your responsibility, but knowing what everybody on the offense is trying to do and how what you're supposed to do fits into that? Right, I think I think just being being best you can be, and um, actually, you know, like learning every position, like you said, I think it makes you more valuable as a player. You know, somebody go down, or you you need to go do something. I think if they can put you in right away. You know, it just makes you more valuable um, on that team. And um, so definitely, you know, I'm looking forward to learning every position, and you know, trying to if, wherever they need me, I'm ready to go. You know, so just gotta be prepared for that. All right, and final thing, just can you leave us with one last message that you've got for Chiefs Kingdom and all the fans that are out there YouTube searching you and watching all your highlights right now? What do you want to let them know? Man, I, want to tell, I want to tell Chiefs fans that they got a great player. They got a player that's going to give them their all, and they're going to, they're going to come in ready to work and um, try to bring the Super Bowl back. Awesome. Nicole, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Go back and celebrate with your family, and yes, we sir. will see you soon at Rookie Minicamp, man. Congratulations. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>